to the forest geometry. Right, now I can certainly hear It's a, it's a little bit dark there quite big. So I'm going to say that this tree here, from here, right up there, I'm going to say that's about 50 feet long. I'm trying to make out what sort of shape this is. We've got our X in here. That's been pushed over at the root there. And there you go, you've got about a 30 foot tree up there. So... Now that bit where that crossover in the middle there, that's about as tall as I am. I'm just standing on a hillock to look at it. What's talking? I mean, the chances are there could be another lunatic like me wandering around the forest talking to the talking to the camera. See the toe mark? And I think the heel is about here. You see the toe marks are quite well defined there, they're quite deep. Just scanning. All's worth scanning. Yet more geometry, and there about that one straight in front of me is about I'm gonna say eight foot. I think this one across here is eight foot, that one there about ten foot, and then behind that, I have to come at it from this side, we have this. So this one has now got a massive lean on it, a curve shape on it. I think this is being trained to be a big curve. That's just massive, that tree. Then we've got that one horizontally. 
going right across it's about 15 feet and we've got these almost verticals at an oblique angle heard noises might be a person Movement down there in front of us. Coming towards us. Definitely coming towards us. in this direction somewhere down there whatever it is it's heading our way two feet bipedal stopped. I'm going to say around about 20 yards, 25 yards away, whatever it is, it's stopped. No, it started again. Super weird. Definitely that direction. I'm going to pretend I'm not listening to it, but I am. So there we are. This must mean something. It's like the start of an asterisk or something. You can tell I'm not paying attention, can't you? You can tell I'm focused on whatever's going on here. And if it's an animal, it will bolt. Hearing me clump around. Here's another one of these Netflix. It's like an art that they do. There's several of them. Now my head is like a vice. Very strange that. Oof. Wow. 
Wow. Right, there's somebody. I think someone is standing round about here. Oof, I feel like I've just walked into a wall of energy. Yeah. Right in front of me. I'll see if I can find it when I do an edit of this, but very, very faintly in the background, way in the distance, I can hear like a tick, 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 but like click, 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 click. Is that face still there? So close. Right, I am going to have to come out of here because my head is going to burst. When you get energy like that. Wow. So we'll make our way out of this little bit. Collections of sticks here. You might look at that, although it's an X there, you might think that's like a barrier, don't come in, didn't you? I wonder if that's what it did mean. And these Bigfoot researchers just come straight in there. So that's where we've just been looking at there. Big X. So this is in the forestry and this has been a turning spot I think for trucks when they've loaded up with logs. cluster there. I have the feeling that that big one there is the moon, but I might be wrong. 
There's one to the side of it. I'm not sure what the significance of that is, but so far we've got a line there. See that? And then we have three together in the middle. Now, what I would say is, stones do not just roll about and fall about in this order all by themselves. They are placed like this. Then we have this. There is a vague one up there. I'm not sure that that's part of it. So, I'll step back a bit without falling off the edge. Now, that would be very funny, wouldn't it? So, we've got one, two, three. Then we've got one right off there on its own. Three together. One, two, three. Then up here, one with a little one be behind it. This cluster here, this big one here, I think might represent the moon. This, I believe, is astrology, you see. Don't know about this. Don't know what they are. I am just wondering if this is about Jupiter, Mercury, and Saturn. As Saturn has left, they performed a, a triangle. Triangles are very, very particular shapes. Um, now if I'm looking at that, I see a diamond in here. One, there, there, and down here. It's like a diamond shape. These three in the middle. I wonder if that has been Saturn and Jupiter in transit. And I wonder if that's the moon over there. I wonder if this they plot the stars out, the constellations out. I'm not sure if these belong here. Let's look at it from this angle. Let's just look at it differently, from each angle differently. So... If I come out of this line here, where the three Yes, if I come out of here where the three are on here, and walk along to here, that stone there, then let's start following it along. One there, one there. Where's the next one? Here, one here, then these two. Keep going, Sally Molly. One there. One there. 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 So you might have something like this, a shape that looks like this. See these here, these two? So it goes around like this. One, two, one. And coming along in a line to this one. Like that, there, up to there. Then we turn the corner, we come up to these two here. Now, from here, I'll walk it, from here to here, see the line? 
What I'm wondering is if this is the winter circle. Right, there's one way to find out. Well, I've got my drone set up here and I'm just going to get that all connected. It's uh, into that and then shove the cable through there. That's the phone now connected. And just leave that on there for now. Get my favourite toy out. So what I do basically, first of all, is we open out all the legs. This is a Mavic Pro. It can fly, so they say, about four kilometres each way on standard speed. Um, depends how fast. If you're in sport mode, your battery lasts a lot less. So, what I'll do now is take the gimbal covers off, pop those in there. 